My journey to start an online business came out of desperation because um, I had just lost my job and I had, at the time, three kids and a wife to support. It was a very difficult time. Now, majority of the videos I was coming through really promised success, almost instant success. And my emotions were up and down because sometimes I would listen to, say, a tutorial on YouTube and the promise uh, sort of like, at the time, gave me this idea that I was going to make it, cover my rent, cover my food bills and everything. But that wasn't the case. It became very, very frustrating for me. In fact, there are several uh, occasions where I had mental breakdowns because I really had to provide for the kids. You know, there's a feeling that I got uh, one day when my son looked at me and said, Dad, I'm really hungry. What are we going to eat today? And at that point, I realized that, you know, everything was on my shoulders and I had to provide. But the only option I had was to make something work online because going back to look for another job at the time was very 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 tough it was very very tough so what i've learned over the years were some very very important lessons because by the way when i tried to make this online business work it took me about three to four years to really figure it out because i just couldn't make it work so what i started with was a course i remember creating a course and at that time i'd watched a tutorial where uh, some guy was saying that uh, he managed to sell his course and uh, he managed to get uh, quite a few thousands of dollars so i created my course and not even one person bought uh, that course it was so devastating at the time i couldn't work out why i couldn't sell this course to anyone so i thought you know what let me go into affiliate marketing again i went into affiliate marketing tried clickbank it didn't work out i tried uh, to promote uh, these software companies it still didn't work out so it took me quite a long time like i said about three years for me to realize what i needed to do to make this a success and thankfully at the moment i can um, safely say i did make quite a lot of money with affiliate marketing i think i'm approaching close to half a million in total since i started doing affiliate marketing so it's not too bad but what i'm going to share with you today are strategies of what really works and you know the sad thing is even till today when you look at uh, these tutorials online they make it sound easy make hundred dollars a day make three thousand a month and so on but i think a lot of these videos lack the actual strategy that allows you to be successful and this is why I'm doing this video because I know quite a lot of people out there I really want to uh, really trying to go into affiliate marketing or selling courses so I'm going to share everything that's needed for you to be successful online so the very first thing you're going to need in order for you to become successful is to have an audience and this is something that I took for granted and in fact I didn't really believe uh, worked until I started doing it so the audience really comes from YouTube all these other social media platforms they are very good don't get me wrong but uh, with youtube when it comes to affiliate marketing or really creating your brand it works better because youtube also works as a search engine so let's say you create a tutorial on um, how to knit with um, whatever it is or how to create a website using divi for example what happens is when people search online they are going to see your results come up in fact i will show you in another video where my channel actually has uh, a lot of traffic coming from search so so the idea now is when people are searching for your content it means that even if your video is five years old or four years old people are still going to find it so this is the platform which in my opinion is the best in fact I don't think there's any other platform out there that is better than this so creating the audience is the most important thing so for those people that don't have an audience there's also another shortcut you can use to make money using affiliate marketing and that is to use Google Ads or Facebook ads so this can easily uh, speed up the whole process now the chances of failing are very high because you need to know how to create a landing page you also need to know about what copy needs to go on the page you also need to have some upsells or some follow-up emails and all this can be very very difficult so when I finally figured out what I needed to uh, make my online uh, business work specifically here I'm talking about affiliate marketing I was super excited and I thought I had really nailed it until I came to another stumbling block and that was the software that's needed in order for all this to work I mean it needs to work like a machine you need to have a page where a landing page where people opt in and when they have opted in you need to follow up and when you've followed up you need to also sell them other products and so on so at the time there wasn't really anything solid on uh, WordPress uh, in order for us to really run a successful uh, system that gives you the ability to 
automate this whole process. So at the time, ClickFunnels was really, really making a lot of noise. I mean, it was really, really the platform to use. But the challenge is, it was very expensive. I think at the time I was paying um, 197 at the time. Don't quote me on that, but I think that's what I was paying. But you can imagine paying 197 from a position where you're broke anyway. At that time, for 197 I would rather buy food for the family. So it became very difficult. So I tried it for, um, for a little bit and it didn't work out. And that was really sad. So I moved on to another platform that I had just released. It was called Kartra. So I tried that as well and it still didn't work. And then I started creating a, this whole system on WordPress where I would use WordPress as my main uh, platform and then I'll use Divi as my landing page designer uh, software. And then I, at that time, used uh, ConvertKit for my email delivery. So at the time, it was okay. I started getting a few sales here and there, but it wasn't really enough until I realized that I really had to create a lot of content. So around 2019, 2020, I started creating so much content, it was really crazy. But at the time, it felt like it was a lot of work, but uh, it did pay off. I shall explain why it really paid off in the end. So I started creating a lot of uh, tutorials specifically around uh, the Divi page builder. So anything Divi related, I created the videos. They were so many of them. And I also did a, a few softwares here and there. So once I did that, I started noticing my channel growing because a lot of people that were searching on for how to design a website using Divi were coming across my videos. And I sort of like became an influencer around the Divi theme. So that in itself was really good. I managed to start, you know, making about 500 a month and then it went to about uh, 800 a month. And then at the moment, I'm ranging between 1,300 to 1,800 per month. So that's just one source of income. So I realized I needed a few other softwares I could promote that could work alongside uh, Divi. So I started uh, promoting things like Fluent CRM, uh, Fluent Forms, uh, Sh uh, Sure Members, Member Press, Learn Dash, and so on. So all of a sudden now, I really had a system that was working and I was really making quite a bit of money and I started now uh, supporting my family in a very uh, sufficient way. Now, as I was using WordPress as my platform to do this, I realized that the costs were actually quite a lot because I needed a very strong uh, hosting account, which I was paying uh, at the time close to about $100 a month because my subscribers had increased and um, my website needed a lot of power for it to run. Otherwise, it just kept on running really, really slow. So it became very, very difficult for me to uh, continue with, um, with WordPress. So I came across a system called, uh, in fact, a platform called System.io. System.io for me was a game changer because I could start off really at no cost and I had three funnels to run. I also had uh, about 2,000 uh, contacts and I could start off with pretty much nothing, zero dollars. In fact, I have a link to System.io in the video description below. Go ahead, check it out. Uh, perhaps you could just start with this as well if you want to learn how to create courses uh, or even do affiliate marketing. You can pretty much manage everything that I was struggling with before in order for me to set up my online business. So System.io uh, was a game Game changer and even till now I've managed to sell thousands uh, worth of products using that platform the advantages that I see with system.io uh, is um, you don't really have to worry about the hosting because it's self-hosted and when it comes to your email contacts you can export them on a CSV file which means you still maintain and uh, have access to all your contact details but chances of you leaving the platform are close to zero because what else would you want to go to because uh, the rest of the platform platforms out there, they're quite, uh, they're quite expensive and System.io is the most affordable one at the moment. So now the question is, okay, if you wanted to get started with System.io, what do you do? So this is where you need to master how it actually works. If you master how it works and you find your way around, pretty much you're good to go. So this became the tool that really, really changed the game for me for making money online. So if you want to get started with making money online, you really need a, a system, a platform that can help you automate all your products, um, generate leads leads and also take payments and all this is done using system.io as i mentioned i have a link to that in the video description below now what i am going to do now is i am going to create a community of people who 
are interested in making money online and I will be sharing everything that I learned over the years on how to set up or how to start making money yourself. So it, is a, it was a very emotional journey for me and uh, I did learn quite a lot. So I want to share this knowledge uh, because I'm pretty sure there are quite a few people out there that really want to make money online but they're not sure uh, how to get started and how to do it. So I have a link in the video description below. Go ahead, check it out and uh, if you sign up, I am going to be sharing a lot of information on how to make an online business and um, how to make money online. Now, what I'll also be sharing is how to how to create a YouTube channel, how to grow your YouTube channel, how to grow your mailing list. I mean, in fact, everything that's needed, I'm going to be sharing in this community. Anyway, guys, thank you very much for watching and I'll see you again in the next one. Take care.